let's make a Rudolph candy jar. Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy if you didn't know and if you did, thank you so much for coming back. All right, so we start with this jar from Dollar Tree. Take the lid off. Now I'm not gonna lie, I've re redid this three times. I first started by painting with some chalk paint the lid and then I did some big goofy eyes on it. Listen, and then I glued a little pom-pom in the center and I was like, what in the world are you thinking, Colette? So then I decided, put that aside, and I'm going to try to do the jar part. So I had gotten this little headband thing, and it has little reindeer antlers. This was from Dollar Tree. And so I put some glue on the side of the jar, and I glue on the antler. Yes, the glue dripped. Just watch that if you're doing it. And then I decided to make the antlers kind of face you. I just folded. So I put a little glue, and then I folded in the antler just so that it forced it to be forward-facing instead of pointing back and I did the same thing on the other side some more glue this time I was more careful <laughs> and then I did the same process glued then I put a little glue in the center and I folded it in half again just so that it forced it to stay looking that way all right so here's the goofy face and I was like at this point I'm like what in the world this is awful this is terrible <laughs> So then I was like, okay, bright idea. Let's add some ribbon because, of course, that face is going to look much better with a ribbon on the top. <laughs> I know. Love me through it. It's fine. But the ribbon, I did like the ribbon. Um, and when I put the ribbon on, I just made sure that the ribbon was under the threads. So it's at the very top of the... No, you know what I mean, right? So that way you can still screw the lid on. So it's 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 not on the threads. It's a, it's apart from that. Got it? Got it. And I just did a simple little bow. That's all I did. Easy peasy. Um, I trimmed the ends, of course, but um, I thought it looked really cute. And friends, if you wanted to do like a polka dot ribbon, it would look like Clarice, right? That's her name, right? The female. Anyways. Anyways. Look at how cute it is. Super cute, right? So then I put the goofy face on and I was like, no, this goofy face is the stupidest thing. <laughs> now, maybe it, maybe some of you think it's cool. And I think the other problem with it is that you have to screw it on just right or else the face is sideways or whatever. So I was like, I'm not having it. So I scraped it all off. I know some of you are cringing. Don't cringe. It's okay. I scraped it all off. I wiped it down with alcohol and I started again. And then I decided, hey, let's just put a dollop of glue in the center and put a pom-pom in the middle. And then it's kind of like, um, like I, I don't want to say a classy one because it's not really classy, but you know what I mean? Like it's almost abstract. Super cute, right? I think so too. My husband was upset because I didn't put candy in it. So of course we got to add some candy. Adorable. And then my children were upset because I didn't put googly eyes on it. So this is what it looks like without. But then here's some googly eyes. <laughs> Super fun, right? Either way, all I'm saying is <laughs> that this could work. And I bet one of you crafty people could make it work really well. The googly eyes, I think it did something for it. I think it did. My, my children say it looks like Wallace and Gromit, but whatever. Anyways, friends, thank you so much for watching, and I hope this inspires you.